Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing, and there was no um, taping and stuff on min Monday. I had a super busy day at work, um, worked late, and um, ended up actually just going out and grabbing dinner with Chris last night. Um, we had Connor with us, and it was just too late. We could have had leftovers, but we were kind of over leftovers last night. So we just went and grabbed dinner, tried to stay on plan as much as possible. We ate at a golden crowd, so lots of meat and veggies. And tonight, again, is a late night. It's almost 7, and uh, we still want to try and get out and move a chicken coop tonight. So I just made um, taco salad, and this is Chris's. So it has lettuce, avocado, um, it has, it's made with turkey and homemade pinto beans. This is what the meat looks like. This is turkey and I opened a can of my homemade pinto beans and put that in there along with homemade taco seasoning. And then I just uh, sliced up some tomatoes from the garden. Um, I had some fresh lettuce, avocado, I had some jalapenos from the garden and some peppers from the garden and just put it on here with a dash of um, sour cream on top and some shredded cheese and Chris is going to eat these with some tostinos I am just going to turn mine into a salad hey guys it is let me think it is Wednesday and I am putting um, dinner together this week kitchen is one of my zones and I was just kind of looking around the kitchen seeing what I needed to do while I was on my lunch break prepping and one of the things I realized is I have not put my uh, meal plan on uh, my chalkboard in like two weeks. So I was getting my meal plan um, back up on my chalkboard. Um, this is not set in stone. I Actually, I don't have my planner in front of me um, to go on. So this is based on memory of what I thought I had on my planner. Um, I know that I can create all of these meals. Actually, I already have the ribs and we still have leftover ribs and we've already done the taco salad. So I know that was definitely on the meal plan along with a baked chicken recipe and doing a pork loin. Breakfast is always on the meal plan. We always have leftovers. And then I have plenty of chicken in there also to do some buffalo chicken. So and that's my daughter's favorite. So I know that these are things that I can quickly pull together this week. I'm really wanting to make some zucchini tots. I have this massive zucchini back here and a couple of other zucchinis. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have time today to do it, but it's definitely on the meal plan for the week. I love those. Those are so good and they're super low carb. Um, I went ahead and pulled a pork loin out. Um, this is a garlic and herb. I know that we have extra kids tonight, so I'm thinking about pulling a second one out. I'm trying to decide. I may just put some ribs out also, and because we have plenty of ribs, I don't necessarily want to defrost um, more meat and cook it if we're not going to end up going through it. So I may just pull some ribs out and add to this. Um, I still have like half a pan of regular macaroni and cheese. I will not be eating this, but the kids will love it. Um, so I am going to pull that out. And I still have, I don't know, about six or eight sweet potatoes um, left from over the weekend when we did the Father's Day dinner. And I'm going to just take those, peel them out of their skin, and turn them into something else. Um, probably like a whipped sweet potato. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to do something with those at dinner time when I come in and see what strikes my fancy. So I'm going to turn the sweet potatoes into another side dish and the kids won't know the difference. Um, I have a container of a quart of applesauce um, open in the fridge that I want to use up and then I have plenty of salad and fresh veggies. So the only thing I'm really cooking tonight is this everything else I'm either recreating or pulling out of the fridge and warming up so I just need to go ahead and start clearing some of these leftovers um, but I know the family that has been eating ribs multiple times this week is eh, probably getting over ribs so the company that will be here tonight that has not had ribs I'm sure will enjoy some ribs along with some pork loin um, I pulled these sweet potato ends I need to go get these in water and a bunch of my sweet potatoes from last year's garden. I've just been leaving on the bottom shelf down there. 
um, and they are all sprouting. So I need to go ahead and get those in water. That's going to be a fun project to do with Connor. He's never done that. So I'm going to go through and pull a bunch of sweet potatoes and get them going on the ledges out on the back porch. So I have my meal plan. I have my dinner plan and um, I've already gone and checked on the chickens. I don't have time to do gardening today. I did pull a bunch of vegetables last night or the night before and the night before out of the garden um, I've got tomatoes and cucumbers and uh, zucchini and yellow squash and I love these I think these are called they're not patty pan I think uh, scallop squash I want to say um, I've never been able to grow them um, and this year is they're doing really well so I have a couple of those I've pulled out along with jalapenos um, and these suckers are hot so last night I cut one up for our taco salad and I handed a piece of it to Chris and I made sure I got all the seeds out and I said here taste it tell me how hot it is before I put any of these on my salad he goes oh just a little spicier than a bell pepper I thought okay so I grabbed a piece popped it in my mouth and it set my mouth on fire and I was just like you lied and he said no I didn't mine wasn't hot he tried another one and he must have had just like the tip or something that was not hot that I handed him because the rest of the pepper, not the seeds or anything, was set your mouth on fire hot. So I'll probably be taking these and cutting them, taking the seeds out to save, and then just keeping them in a bag in the freezer because I want to try and make cowboy candy. So that is my goal for the jalapenos. Um, Maybe I'll do some stuffed uh, with cream cheese or something like that for Trevlin and Chris because they really like it. But this is where I'm at for today. I have just a few more minutes. I'm going to go throw a load of clothes in the washer and then I will make some lunch for myself and a snack for Connor and then I have to head back to the office. So this is where I'm at. Okay guys, this is what I made for myself for dinner. Um, pork loin with a salad and some sweet potatoes. Um, all the boys had mac and cheese and baked beans um, and things like that with theirs, but I just kept mine simple. Um, and I just took leftover sweet potatoes that um, we had, took them out of the skins, whipped them, put a little bit of egg white with cream cheese and some just seasoning cinnamon, um, nutmeg, allspice, and a little bit of splint or not Splenda, stevia, mixed it all together and um, and just baked it and it came up golden brown and really good. So this is what we're having for dinner. Well, it is five minutes till seven on Friday evening. Um, I'm just coming out of the office and the sky is already looking pretty ominous. I was hoping to be able to spend a little bit of time out in the garden, but I'm already seeing lightning off in the distance and I'm hearing thunder roll in. So I have a feeling I will not get too much garden time in. Um, I'm going to go check the baby chicks that we moved out because we still have not managed to get the um, full canopy erected over them. I just have a tarp over the pen right now and I need to roust my broody hen. Um, I'm going to be moving her I think tomorrow to a dog kennel to try and break the broody. It's just too hot for her to be sitting in a nest box. Um, even though I am taking the eggs each day from her, she is just vicious. <laughs> so, um, well, it is getting ready to rain. So I better go hurry and do this and then I'm going to go inside and cook dinner. Hey guys, it is Friday night and I just spent a few minutes out in the garden and with the chickens. Um, I was actually able to spend almost 30 minutes out there before it started to rain. Um, so I pulled a few things in. I still grabbed a bunch of green tomatoes. They'll ripen up. You can see they're starting to ripen up in here and as they turn red we use them. Um, 
and grab some eggs and peppers and another squash. Um, I had one lone green beans. The rabbits seem to love my green bean plants and no sooner do they get up high enough to start to flower than the rabbits come in and chew them off. So I have managed to get one green bean so far and I dropped it. <laughs> so no green beans for us. Um, I pulled a couple of sunflowers off just to put in a vase in um, like the bathrooms. And I have one purple pepper. These guys are not getting very big. They're, they're pretty tiny. So um, hopefully Sunday I can spend a little bit of time out there. Tomorrow I know I'm gonna be gone away from the house all day long. So um, I, will, I will not be home. Chris and I are doing a date day slash errand day. So, and we're gonna be out of town for pretty much the whole day. So I know not much is gonna get done around here um, tomorrow. So Sunday is my day to try and get things done. Um, I pulled some pork steaks out that I'm gonna make for dinner. I have no kids home tonight. Uh, let me think, Trevlin is babysitting, I wanna say. She went and looked at a car this afternoon with Chris and I think she said she had to babysit tonight and Jaden is at work. So I'm just going to um, cook up these pork steaks and I'm doing really well with eggs. So I'm going to um, make some scrambled eggs, pork steaks, and I think I'm just gonna cut up some fresh veggies. I'm gonna um, be going through the fridge tonight and cleaning everything out. I, I did get some stuff cleaned out on Thursday, but did not get the kind of fridge clean out I'd really like and I need to do a fresh vegetable inventory because hopefully on our places to go tomorrow will be Aldi's and if I don't find the fruits and vegetables I want at Aldi's then I'll end up running over to the farmer's market on Sunday unless we pass one somewhere in Orange Park. So that is on the plan um, for tonight and then um, I pulled out this big pack of Zacon bacon. If you have not ordered Zacon bacon, it is so, so good. And um, Father's Day is Sunday, and I have most of the men um, in our life gifts already, but for Chris's dad, um, I'm gonna make him some praline bacon, and of course for Chris too, um, he'll get some praline bacon. And um, I want to experiment with just a few slices of it, doing it sugar-free. I read how you could make um, the sugar-free brown sugar, like the Trim Healthy Mama brown sugar. So I'm going to try and do a few slices like that and see how it turns out. So that's going to be the low sugar, um, I guess, Trim Healthy Mama praline bacon. So we'll see how that turns out. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this mess up right here, get things separated, and the flowers in a vase. It is 7.35, and I'm gonna get started on dinner. Okay, I have dinner pretty much ready. Um, I am just put the uh, pork steaks back in the pan uh, to reheat them because I had taken them out, cooked the eggs in here, I just put them on a plate. I have the veggies back there, and I'm going to get everything dished up. Okay, this is Chris's dinner right here. His portions are a little larger than mine, but um, this is his pork steak with applesauce, uh, scrambled eggs, and fresh veggies, and I just topped it with some fresh Parmesan. So, this is dinner. Okay, and this is my dinner. I just ran some onions into Chris. I forgot to put the onions on top of his pork steak. So, pork steak, eggs, veggies, a little less cheese for me, a little less applesauce, and this is dinner. Hey guys, it is Saturday, and it's about 11.30 or so, and um, Chris and I are up in Fleming Island. Uh, we're dropping the general off right now. Um, it had some recalls on it, so we have it dropped off at service uh, to have some repairs done. And then we're gonna go spend a date day together uh, while we're waiting on the general to get done. We have some gift cards that we've gotten for different holidays, Christmas, whatever, and we're just gonna go through the gift cards in his wallet and go out to lunch. Uh, we talked about going to a movie because we had a movie gift card and this is the only movie theater in the area that matches this gift card, but I think we may hold that off for another day, um, just time-wise and the movies that are available. Um, we want to, uh, I, I think we want to save it. And then we want to go to Aldi's. And Aldi's is like 11 miles from here. So 
it's much shorter than me driving all the way to St. Augustine from home if we're already up here. So we're gonna try and go to Aldi's. Um, I'd made a nice lengthy list last night of everything I needed, but when I was carrying everything out to the car, I had put my Yeti cup in my purse, which I've done many, many times full of water, and I had the lid closed, and I guess it's not sealing quite as well um, as it has in the past because it dumped about half of a big Yeti cup full of water into my bag. Um, my day planner is soaked, my all these list and all of my list, of course, because my day planner was open to this month, um, everything is soaked and it's all ink smear. So I have it in the dash, um, attempting to dry it out with pens stuck in between all the pages. My All of my makeup got wet, my gun got wet, my checkbook got wet, everything is just soaked in my purse. So I have um, most everything laid out on the back floorboard, back seat. I have my day planner in the dash where the sun can get it, but everything else is laid out trying to dry off. Um, it's not that big a deal of that I'm not carry a purse because I usually just carry my phone and keys. My purse, you know, just carries everything else and a lot of times I leave it in the car, but everything is wet. So I'm gonna try and sit here while I'm waiting on Chris to remember what my Aldi's list was. <laughs> I don't really remember and try and find a scrap of paper in here that's not wet uh, that I can write my list on and so that we can go to Aldi's. So that is where we're at right now. I hope that we can find a farmer's market. Um, if possible, if not, no big deal. I'll go to one locally whenever we get back home. All right guys, we'll show you how our day goes. Well guys, it has been a good day. Uh, Chris and I have not done anything like this in a really long time and it was just nice um, just to get away and do something fun even if it was having to take the general, he's getting it loaded up right now, um, up onto the trailer. But we had gift cards and we went out and saw a funny movie. We went out and saw um, Book Club, you know definitely a chick flick but Chris didn't mind and uh, and we enjoyed that and then we went out to um, Outback and then when um, after we left there we went to Aldi's and I was able I've got a whole back seat of stuff um, of Aldi's so I may hit the fruit market tomorrow um, not great prices on things at this one this one was much bigger than the one in St. Augustine I go to um, but they did not have the crackers I wanted and their fruit and vegetable and meat deals weren't Phenomenal. I mean they were okay, but not Something super special, so I didn't get much in the way of that So we we stocked up on a lot of big items like coffee. We picked up I think four big things of coffee um, And they had a good price on the like, Gatorades. We're gonna be going to camp next month So we went ahead and just picked up some Gatorades um, you know, things like that. Cereals, uh, you know, stuff that I could get big and in bulk. So, um, we are just wrapping it up. It is almost 5.30 and we'll be heading back home. We're about 35, 40 minutes from home. Uh, I just got off the phone with my daughter and she said the weather is really, really bad there. Um, and my son's at work. So she had taken him some dinner up to work and said the weather is just awful. So when we get back I'll check in with them and and see how everything's going but we had a really great day definitely did not stay on trim healthy mama plan it just nope Chris got movie theater snacks and yeah and they brought bread to the table so yeah did not stay on plan um, one odd thing that happened is when we were at the restaurant the server came to our table and asked if anyone had any uh, medical training and I do 
um, I'm a medical assistant or I'm trained to be a medical assistant, a CMA. And I said, well, yeah, I do, but I'm not a doctor or anything, but what can I do to help? And they had a customer, um, you know, the guy said he was unconscious, but when I got there, he was conscious. He'd fallen and possibly broken his arm and his hip. There wasn't anything I could really do for him other than sit and talk to him until the ambulance got there. But, you know, it was nice to, uh, to be able to at least think in, in medical terms for a little while, um, even if there was not much I could do. So we are going to uh, pack everything up and head back home. All right, guys. Hey, guys. It is Saturday, almost evening. I think it's about 7.30 or so. And I am working on my um, one of the Father's Day gifts that I'm doing. And this is a big package of the Zacon bacon that is completely defrosted. And then in this bowl is my brown sugar and pecans and vanilla. Um, I added a little bit of raw sugar in also this time just to try it. Um, to give it a little bit of texture. And I'm gonna do the majority of this um, pack of bacon like this, and then I'm gonna try and do some Trim Healthy Mama praline bacon and see how that works out. So I haven't mixed this yet. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. And I have my, um, this is just a uh, cookie, sh not a cookie sheet, a, <laughs> I cannot think, I swear I'm tired. Um, it is a cooling rack for cookies and I have it over a pan that is relatively deep that has a lip lined with foil so it'll catch all the bacon grease and I have three of these. So I'm gonna just put as many as I can on each one that don't go over the edge. I'll link my video up in the corner about how to make this, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get this going and get it in the oven. Okay guys, this is um, the praline bacon for Father's Day. <laughs> Sorry, ignore all the guys hollering in the background. Um, it is almost 10 o'clock. Jaden just came in from work and people are already stealing bacon um, from my trays. I'm having to tell them pause off on why this is cooling off. Um, I took the last of the bacon, which I probably should have made more praline bacon with it, but um, I took that and I'm cooking it up and we're gonna be having dinner after 10 o'clock at night. Chris and I weren't super hungry when we came in, but he's hungry now and Jaden is starving coming in from work. So I am doing breakfast for dinner. I'm just making up some bacon and eggs and toast uh, for everybody. So we're gonna have a late night breakfast for dinner. Hey guys, so it is Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all you guys out there. And it has been an interesting Father's Day so far. Um, Chris is actually outside with Jaden working on the septic tank. We have an old house and uh, we're just having to deal with it again. Not exactly something you want to do on Father's Day. So um, Jaden has to go to work today and so I am working in the kitchen doing some of making his lunch and doing things like that for him so he can go out and help Chris. Um, and I just had to show you this is Jaden's wrapping job. He was in charge of wrapping um, Chris's gift from uh, from he and Trevlin and I and uh, he ran out of tape so he broke out the electrical tape um, I guess this is a very uh, masculine gift so uh, that's what that is and then I have my dads and my brothers um, up here and we're still putting together Chris's dads and brothers so there's that um, kitchen is a bit of a mess. Um, I was soaking the bacon things from last night. Um, they just stuck so bad. I used cheap aluminum foil in the pans and so they didn't want to come loose and I cleaned out all my cabinets of anything that was stale, chips, crackers, that kind of stuff. That's all going out to the compost bin and there's a few dishes to wash but I can't do any of that right now because I can't run water. So, I'm just leaving that for now, and I am working on Jaden's lunch. I'm using up some applesauce as we had two open, and um, pulled out some grapes and bananas, and this is some of the strawberry jam that I had made last year, or no, I don't remember if it was last year. It might have been this year, um, but I'm going to make him some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and some ham sandwiches because he has like an eight or a nine hour shift today, so he'll eat lunch and dinner at work. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get going on that and then um, get stuff out to the chickens and then just work on what I can in the house not using water. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get things swept and dusted and cleaned down because I have a ton of laundry to wash and I need dishes to wash and I need to clean showers and all that. So I need a shower. <laughs> Still need to do that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. Chris and his brother will be taking his dad out um, for lunch today. And then we're gonna go see my dad and drop off gifts for my brother and all that. So we'll have some running around and then hopefully Chris and I will be back here this afternoon and finish working on um, the chicken coop. He wants to finish up the brakes on the Arctic Cat. He's just got a list of things that he needs to do and I have a list of things I need to do before we start the work week again, including my zones. So this week is kitchen, um, mudroom and pantry which you can see the mudroom is a bit of a disaster the kitchen's a bit of a disaster the pantry's not too bad um, it just needs to be swept and I have a box of stuff in there I need to go through I just put all the groceries and stuff away from the last two days in there so all that is done but um, I have stuffing everywhere because I bought the dogs a new dog toy and they promptly destroyed it and there's trails of stuffing from room to room to room that have to be cleaned up so we've been sweeping up dust pans of stuffing everywhere i was just gonna let them play with a toy until they managed to get all the stuffing out of it and then they could play with it after but chris is like nope throw it in the trash <laughs> so all right guys i'm gonna get started hey guys it is sunday almost four um i've put a serious dent in the house um most of the rooms are pretty much done i still have a ton of laundry to fold but the kitchen is pretty much done. The mud room has been cleaned um, and my pantry has been straightened. And I just finished making these to take to my parents for Father's Day. Um, they are double chocolate chunk brownies with um, a cocoa icing and a chunk of praline bacon on top. So I thought this was an appropriately manly type uh, type cupcake <laughs> so I just finished um, putting some powdered sugar on these I still have a couple over here uh, for Chris that I'm just keeping here at the house one for Chris one for Jaden um, Trevor will get hers at my parents house so I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on these I'm gonna go scrub my bathroom because it needed it and then get a shower for myself run go see my dad and drop off gifts over there and then come back and do laundry and dinner all right we're just moving along So my parents hit a farm stand on the way home um, from the Carolinas. They stopped in Georgia to visit family and stopped at a farm stand. So I have about a bushel of peaches here. Um, some of them I'm going to can whole and then I'm going to make peach jam uh, with the rest of them and probably do peach scrap jam um, from the scraps and peels. So this is going to be an upcoming project. <laughs> 